First tonight, we learned today that former President Trump and vice presidential pick J.D. Vance will rally in Grand Rapids this weekend. According to the Trump campaign, they are expected to talk about inflation, the border and crime policies. News 8's Adriana Doria spoke with the former Secret Service agent about how this event might look different following the assassination attempt and what security levels he expects. Brian Amber, this rally will come exactly one week since the former president survived that attempted assassination and one week since announcing J.D. Vance as his running mate for vice president. The former Secret Service agent that I spoke with says this ha what happened in Pennsylvania was an anomaly, but expects more security presence this weekend. You're going to see an unprecedented level of security here in Grand Rapids for his events. Former President Trump making his way to West Michigan to rally voters in his first rally since his attempted assassination and since selecting Ohio Senator J.D. Vance to be his running mate for vice president. The event sparking questions about if there will be heightened security and how events like this might look different now and in the future. You'll see a significant presence because obviously it's going to be a big crowd, right? This is the first visit after, the, after he gets officially you know, nominated, so you're going to see a massive uh, group of people coming out to see this. And so the security will be, you know, unlike anything probably we've seen here in Grand Rapids in a long time. Unlike in Pennsylvania, this rally will be held indoors at the Van Andel Arena downtown, and former Secret Service agent Jason Russell says that makes it easier to secure. Yeah, do you think it was intentional that it's going to be indoors, or is that just coincidence? I think you're probably going to see quite a few more indoor events. They're just easier to secure because they're more defined. Obviously, the perimeter's a lot easier to define. So I would venture that probably in the next several weeks, following the convention and including, you know, President Biden, you're going to see a lot more indoor events maybe than outdoor. The assassination attempt on the former president likely leaving some on edge about attending more rallies for any candidate in the future. But Russell says what happened in Pennsylvania was not the norm and that it should not deter people from being politically involved. I would not hesitate at all to, to come out. You know, I think that was an anomaly what we saw this weekend and certainly has been addressed and will be addressed, you know, so you're going to see uh, security at a pretty significant level. Russell says the job of a Secret Service agent remains the same, but the scope of protections have increased. The landscape protection-wise that the Secret Service is dealing with now with the, the animosity and just the, the divide is, is far more than what I ever dealt with as an agent you know, when I was active. So I think just the whole threat landscape has changed. So the amount of different intelligence that they have to gather, the different types of threats that they're looking at uh, has become so complex that it's become a really difficult job to, to, to be perfect, right? Not only do we have former President Trump's rally on Saturday in Grand Rapids, but Vice President Kamala Harris has events scheduled tomorrow in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. We will have full coverage of her visit to West Michigan on air and on woodtv.com.